Hello, hola amigos. What we're going to do today is we are going to do a vector art in Photoshop. So here I've chosen Millie Bobby Brown. Let's start working. Press P. It will directly go to the pen tool. I'm going to go at a, go at a slow pace so that beginners like me can catch up. So there you go. I'm going to, go, I'm going to start selecting. Now, let me make it a closed structure. There you go. Now, what we need to do is we need to create two letters. Yeah. Now, what we need to do is we, we are going to paint white on layer one. And then let's go to layer two. Layer two, let's unhide, let's hide layer one. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to paint our basic picture here right in layer 2. So, press P again, right click, stroke path. Oh, before you do the stroke path, make sure you have your color selector as black. So, right click, stroke path. Yeah, there you go. And what we need to do is we need to delete the background. So, we just unlock the background here and right click, make selection. There you go. Control X, Control V, and go to the moving tool. And yeah, there you go. And we are just deleting. Press delete. See, now the background is being removed. And we are going to hide the layer 3. See, we have drawn the basic outline. So we need to do, draw the whole of Millie Bobby Brown's face right here in layer 2. So, Let's get started. Let's hide the layer one, go to the pen tool again, and start drawing. The one thing that you need to remember is that, you know, don't, like, see, right here, imagine if there's any gap right at this position. What, what's going to happen is when I paint, like when I put in colors to it, you know, it just drops out of it and the image gets completely messed up. So try to avoid gaps, fill in everything. Will we get a full image? Like the whole image is being each and every element, eyebrows, eyes, hair, everything is being individually selected and stropped. In order to start painting, let's go to layer 3, let's unhide this hide layer 1, we'll go to the color bucket, paint bucket tool and press alt button in order to select the color and we'll paint it on layer 2, click on layer 2 and select the suitable color which you want. We just paint, try different color and see which one would be cool. Okay, I'm going to go with this. Just select Alt, select the color, just paint it. Alt, select the color, paint it. Paint it until everything is in sync. So now what we need to do is we need to dissolve 
this particular image in this particular image. So before that, we need to apply some effects to this image. So let's go to filter, let's select filter gallery, select cutout, okay. And you can see the number of levels here. Arrange it in such a way that try with the maximum and then by lowering it like see if everything is visually appealing like every element eyes nose mouth everything is visible yeah it's visible so i'm selecting my level as eight here i'm just clicking okay see now it's completely changed to this now what i need what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna unhide this select on layer 2 and I'm gonna click multiply see see the visual change in the whole of the picture now let me just merge this thing this flatten image now camera row filter adjust the setting as per you like There you go, my version of Millie Bobby Brown is ready. Okay. Mm, let me unlock this. Now, if you want, you can just change the background. Like, okay, select, press color range, select the white area. You know, there you go. Decrease the fussiness. Click OK. Then we're going to press Ctrl X to cut that out. And we're going to add our background right here. There you go. Let me just expand. I'm gonna put my layer 0 before the layer 389667. Control T. Control T. Hmm, I kinda like it. So, guys, this is how you do a vector art in Photoshop. I hope you like the video.